let me speak over your life now as we close you don't have to kneel please just stand and I will pray for you from my heart birthdays are days when unusual requests are granted it was during a birthday that a prophet's head went away expensive requests can be granted the Lord told me when I started ministry that I would never lack help in my life and he has kept that word let me speak that word to you in the name of Jesus Christ I speak over you by the message of God you will never lack help for the rest of your life you will never lack help us for the rest of your life you will never lack help for the rest of your life you will never lack help us for the rest of your life hallelujah listen to me your speed in destiny is to the degree to which you are accepted if you are not accepted you cannot make progress in life i'm praying for you the same way god gave me global acceptance i pray for a preacher in the name of jesus i pray for a businessman by the power that raised christ from the dead may you be accepted across the globe may your ministry be accepted across the globe may your business be accepted across the globe may your person be accepted across the globe in the name of jesus one day i was praying and i came across that scripture that the lord told moses he says the lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace listen and i remember the lord telling me that day he said in ministry never try to fight any battle it doesn't matter who rises up against you there is a covenant that i have with you that i will defend you with my jealousy you always hear me say that the god of my covenant this is where it came from that i have a covenant with you that i will stand by you as a mighty terrible one in the name of jesus i pray for you may this covenant begin to work for you that anybody who rises against you against your reputation against your relevance against your influence before their eyes god will bring them down before their eyes god will lift you up before their eyes god will bring them down in the name of jesus number three I was studying one time and I saw where he told them, he said, when I sent you, lackest thou anything. When I saw the gravity of the work that God was committing to my hands, I knew that they would need resources, both human and material resources. And I said, Lord, I want to do ministry with integrity. I don't want to have to manipulate anyone for money. I don't want to have to manipulate anyone to come in terms of membership. And that was when I learned about the power to prosper and the grace called favor. That favor can come upon a man. The power to prosper can come upon a man and redefine your finances. I tell you in the name of Jesus and without any sense of humility, this ministry does not owe anybody one naira, dead or alive. We don't borrow, we don't beg, I don't borrow, I don't beg. It's part of our covenant with God. I'm praying for you. God who has shown mercy in the name that is above all names and by the power that raised Christ from the dead, step into a level of supplies. Supplies by wisdom. Supplies by favor. Supplies by wisdom. Supplies by favor. I say it again, supplies by wisdom supplies by favor in the name of Jesus Christ before needs arise let the supply be waiting listen in your lifetime you would do multi-billion projects without begging hallelujah I saw the way many people handle the issue of finances 
and I did not want it. Those who had money had a lot of pride and materialism. It looked like everything was about money and I did not want to be a preacher like that. I didn't want to be incapacitated financially but I didn't want my life and this ministry to be all around money. I said, God, you must teach me. Those who missed it, where did they miss it? So that we can correct it. And God said, the thing is, I can give you things, but let it not get to your heart. And let it not become your emphasis. Let Jesus remain your emphasis while the blessings help you announce him. By the time you leave Jesus and you start announcing the blessings, it turns to idolatry. I said, that's it. I found the key. Let me pray for you. While God increases you, these things will not get to your heart. While God increases you, money and fame and power will not get to your heart. It will not distract you in the name of Jesus. But I, hear me, if you are part of this vision, I speak to you, you will lay gold as dust. Oh, secrets will be shown you. You will see things others don't see. He will give you the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There is a hear ye him anointing that is responsible for influence even global influence a product can carry that grace a person can carry that grace a ministry can carry that grace i was not born global nobody's born global you define your possibilities by the graces that come upon you i pray for you right from where you are in the name that is above all names may the nations hear your voice right from where you are may the nations hear your voice May they hear your voice in ministry. May you hear your voice as a business person, as a career person. Every power territorially, every power foundationally that fights the voices of people, stopping them from rising, silencing their voices upon the mountains so that it will not be heard. I curse those voices now. I curse those spirits now. I curse those influences now. In the name of Jesus. There are angels mandated to herald men, herald visions. Revelations 1 verse 1. He sent it and signified it by his angel. He sent it and signified that message by his angel. There are angels that herald anointings. They herald the coming of men. They make territories accept men. They take the glad tidings of the hand of God upon your life. Publicity is a spiritual affair. It's not by posters and billboards alone. No. In the name of Jesus. Where you have not gone to, may your name get there. Where you have not gone to, may your teachings get there. Where you have not reached, may your products reach there. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Listen to me. I learned from Dr. Miles Munro that influence is a very great key in commanding kingdom advance. I have taught you what is influence. The ability to make men buy into your ideologies, your beliefs, without using force or cruelty. Can I tell you? If you lack this grace for influence, it doesn't matter how right you are, nobody will listen to you. Hallelujah. You don't have to manipulate people to believe you. You don't have to manipulate people to hear you. You don't have to manipulate people and say, don't listen to this one, listen to it. No, no, you don't have to. When that grace is on you, that grace can cause men to listen to you. I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus. Like you have never seen, you will command the loyalty of kings. You will command the loyalty of nobles. You will command the loyalty of both great and small, male and female, in the name of Jesus. Men will look for you. They will come to you in the cave of Adullam and they will say, be Lord over us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Two more prayers. 
the grace for humility. Listen, let me tell you this. I learned early in life the danger of, of pride. That it is the one thing that can make God fight you. People have done all kinds of things against God in the Bible. He forgave them. But the one thing that God does not tolerate is pride. That God himself resisted, opposes the proud and gives grace to the humble. Let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, your lifting will not be why you go down. I say it again. Your lifting will not be why you go down. Your rising will not be why you fall. Let the spirit of pride die from your life now. Let the spirit of boasting and bragging vain glory, let it die now. The grace for humility, receive it. Humility is not rejecting what God has done. No. Humility is the ability to decrease and project Christ as the basis for all you are and all you have become. Let that grace rest upon you. Final prayer and we're done. The grace for honor. Let me tell you what honor is. Honor means to be perceived correctly and to be rewarded to match your sacrifice. If the grace for honor is not on you, you may be rewarded, but you will not be rewarded to match the level of your sacrifice. There are people like that. They are not promoted to match their sacrifice. You see that now? It's not that their hands are empty, but they know they are far greater than that level. It says, thou shalt take Joshua, the son of Nun, in whom is the spirit, and thou shalt lay your hands upon him. Verse 20 says, thou shalt put some of thine honor upon him, that all the congregation of Israel might be obedient unto him. I'm praying for you. Let honor rest on you. Let honor rest on you. You have honored Jesus, you have honored me. Let honor rest on you. As a man of God, let honor rest on you. In the name of Jesus. It is not just men that will look for you. Governments will look for you. I say it by the message of God. Governments will look for you. Their parliaments will look for you. Institutions will look for you. Nobles will look for you. Gentiles will look for you. Even those you are looking for will look for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because you came here to celebrate with me. If Christ tarries, even 30 years after now, you will still be standing. You will still be standing. You will not fall by the wayside. It will never be said you, were, you once were great. It will never be said you once were spiritual. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God has declared that this is our year of exceeding great rewards. I pray for you. Whatever has not entered your hand and is still hanging in the spirit, I declare let it enter your hand this week. Let it enter your hand this week. Let it enter your hand this week. As God lifts me, may he lift you. As God helps me, may he help you. As God shows me mercy, may he show you mercy. In the name of Jesus. Anybody waiting for your downfall will wait forever. I say it again. Anyone waiting for your downfall will wait forever. But as for you, keep going higher. Keep going higher from glory to glory from grace to grace the lord increase you more and more you and your children in the name of jesus give jesus a big hand clap give him a big hand clap god bless you hallelujah thank you please allow me make an altar call there's no assumption i cannot waste this gathering of people here Every time we're gathered, there has to be someone that is added by God to be saved. This is a birthday broadcast, but any opportunity to reveal Jesus 
is an opportunity that will be greatly maximized. Someone came for this broadcast, you were invited, or you are following online, and you are saying, Apostle, as I listen to you teach, I was convicted by the Spirit of God that here can be my chance to make it right with Jesus. Or it may be that you want to rededicate your life. You're saying, I've not been living my life the way I should live it. I can't say for sure that my relationship with Jesus is intact. But I do not want us to end and just go now for the welfare distribution. Or maybe you even came, your own is rice that brought you here. You came to carry something and go back. Thank God for it. But before Jesus fed them, he revealed himself to them. Are we together now? I'm going to count one to five. Please give me an opportunity to lead you to this Jesus, not another one. The one who changed my life, the one who's changed the life of thousands in this place. As I count one to five, I want you to leave your seat. Gallantly, gloriously, please come. Let's present these souls to Jesus. Come. Come. Keep clapping for them, Koinonia. Keep coming. Come. Allow those who came for welfare, join them. Before you go to collect your rice, give your life to Jesus Christ. God bless you. Keep clapping, Koinonia. I'm honored to present these souls to Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Many of you came here for the welfare distribution. You are most welcome and God bless you. But there is a greater one. Greater than bags of rice. Greater than whatever welfare. That connection, your relationship with Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to ask you, if you are joining them, please come quickly. I'm going to ask you to lift your right hand high above your head. Look at me. Don't just say this because I'm saying it. Mean it from your heart. Jesus is in this place. He says, where two or three are gathered in his name, he's there in their midst. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Say it again, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again for me. Right now, I receive you into my heart as my Savior, my Lord, and my king, I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. From tonight, I am a child of God. I go forward ever and backward never. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Father, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's a joy to present this many saved, washed by the blood of the Lamb. I decree and declare that the power to live a victorious Christian life, let it be imparted upon you. God who brought you here today, he begins a journey in your life that will never end. In the name of Jesus, you go from glory to glory, grace to grace, in the name of Jesus. Now please look at me, all of you. I want you to turn to my right. You're going to see the counselors, they are waving their placard at you. Please do well. There are a number of you. Please cooperate with them. They will have a word with you very quickly and then you will be back. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate them. A quick word and then you'll be back. Keep clapping until the last person is left.
God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Okay. Um, just one announcement and then we'll shut down. I want to say thank you to everyone. I'm sure that many of you came directly from your offices, your places of work. Thank you very much for this sacrifice. I consider it an honor to Jesus and to me and I'm deeply grateful. Very, very grateful. Thank you. Um, immediately after now, we're going to share the grace. And so our family, those who are connecting online, this is about it. God bless you. Thank you for wishing me a happy birthday. It's a birthday for all of us. Whatever happens to me happens to us also. It's our birthday together. <laughs> Hallelujah. The greatest way you can celebrate my birthday is number one, to pray for me, which you have done. Number two, help someone know Jesus. If someone is saved today, in honor to this birthday, you have given me a great birthday gift. Hallelujah. And then make up your mind to live a purposeful and a meaningful life. These three things, if you do that, you have completed that honor for me. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Immediately afterwards, there's such a crowd of people. Um, we'll go straight. After this, we're dismissed. You can go. But for some of the workers who will still need to be around so that um, we'll manage the welfare, I'll just go out and speak a blessing over the people. I won't be there just to speak a blessing. And so security, technical protocol, please take note of that. As soon as we're done, just hang around a bit. Um, I know that a few of you came with gifts and the rest. Again, I feel embarrassed. Um, I'm not a very good receiver. I'm learning. Pray for me in the name of Jesus Christ. So I'll just hang around a bit, just greet for a few. There's no counseling. Please, if you are here for counseling, come back on, on um, Sunday, please. There's no counseling now. Because I know some of you, even on this birthday, you will still come and stand for counseling. Of course, I'm called to serve you, but just allow me rest today. Praise God. Are we together? Immediately that is done. Please, if you are here for the distribution, now everyone as much as possible, uh, I don't know how many, I hope it will go around. If it doesn't go around, don't find offense. I'm grateful to other people who contributed. I got to know that there were many other people who said, Apostle, we can't let you do this alone. This is your birthday. This is this bag of rice. I want to say a big thank you. Thank you to all of you. You didn't have to do that, but I'm grateful for that thoughtfulness. And so we've gathered everything outside. I don't know how many will go around, but um, we'll, we'll give honor to the less privileged. We'll start from there, but eventually... Please make sure that no single bag is left. There's no reason why some bags should be carried back. There will be somebody who needs it, right? If we've exhausted all the people, there are people within the workforce and so on and so forth. And perhaps maybe for someone following online, you can have your small scale welfare to honor the birthday in your little way. Even if it's two people, you pay their school fees, you give them some groceries. It's something that is a great blessing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Father, again, we thank you for this opportunity. It's a privilege to be alive. I have charged your people by your spirit. I pray in the name of Jesus that these words will burn in their hearts, in our hearts together. You have given us life. With this life, give us wisdom. With this life, give us ease. With this life, give us favor. With this life, grant us grace to continually do more for you that by this time next year, that the things we'd have done for the kingdom would dwarf all that we have done until now in the name of Jesus. And for everyone who has come here, the sound of mourning will be far from your house. You have come to rejoice with me. Joy and gladness will remain with you forever in Jesus' name. After, um, please don't come to say happy birthday just for a handshake. Happy birthday, I'm saying it on your behalf from here. We may not have all that time so please don't be embarrassed if it's just for a handshake my apologies that may not be possible but just know that i love you with all my heart as you go home immediately after the grace my god will bless you in the mighty and matchless name of jesus let's share the grace the grace of our lord jesus christ the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore amen surely god's goodness and mercies follow us 
forever and ever. Amen. God bless you all. Thank you and see you on Sunday.